Morning! That's a fine, easy job of yours. Uh. There's real jobs, and there's better. I would rarely have yours, sitting all day in your hinderlands and eight cushions. It's you and your muckle cores that wreck my roads. If we all had our rechts, you should be made to mend what you break. I see you get your papers in good time. Aye, in good time. Seeing that that paper come out last Saturday, I'm just six days late. You've a fine taste in boots. These were never made by a country shoemaker. They were not. They were made in London. I got them through the gentleman that was here last year for the shooting. What was his name now? Did you see anyone pass early this morning? He might be on a bicycle or he might be on foot. Uh, I wasn't up very early, you see. My daughter was married last night, and we keep it up late. I opened the house door about seven, and there was nobody on the road then. Since I come up here, there has just been the baker and the Rachel herd, besides you gentlemen. Excuse me, may I trouble you for a light? Ah, ah, Hello, Jobly. Ah, well met, my lad. Who the devil are you? My name's Hanny, ah, from Rhodesia. You remember? Good God, the murderer! Just so. And there'll be a second murder, oh, my dear, ah, if you don't do as I tell you. Give me that coat of yours, that cap ah, too. Now, my child, sit quite still and be a good boy. I mean you no harm. I'm only borrowing your car for an hour or two. 
But if you play me any tricks, and above all, if you open your mouth, as sure as there's a god above me, I'll wring your neck. Savvy? Just... just don't hurt me. A thousand thanks. There's more use in you than I thought. Now be off and find the police. I'll get you!